Hi everyone, it's me again. I decided to sit down for this one um, because, I don't know, I just felt like it. Usually I stand and I get all jumpy and jump around and everything and get all pumped up and excited. <laughs> not that I'm not tonight. Um, I guess uh, last time I blogged, we talked about uh, your why. Why do you want to lose weight? And I'm just going to be at the risk of maybe hurting somebody's feelings. I'm, st I'm just going to tell you the exact reason um, why I decided I wanted, you know, what, besides my physical stuff, what has motivated me to want to lose weight. Um, it was probably about two and a half years ago now. Um, well, first of all, it, it did get to the point where physically, yeah, I just, I couldn't stand. Um, I was having a hard time walking. Uh, just going to the car and back was tough. Um, been to the podiatrist and, you know, we did finally find shoes. But you should have seen these shoes. I, I wish I'd grabbed a pair. They looked like shoes my grandpa wore. <laughs> They were great big, huge, clunky things, and they, but they were the only thing that I could wear that didn't bother my feet. And people made fun of me about it. And that was hard. It was hard for people, for me to sit there where people were like, look at your shoes. And, you know, but my podiatrist tells me, and my chiropractor, your feet don't care what your shoes look like, you know, and that's that's so true. That is just so true because right now, lately, I've been complaining about this pair of shoes I ordered off the internet. They're really ugly. They're tennis shoes. They're good tennis shoes, and the kind I usually buy, they're just different and different colors, and they're kind of ugly. But I keep reminding myself, your feet don't care what your shoes look like. So remember that when your feet are hurting because you're wearing a lousy pair of shoes, if you want to feel good. Your feet don't care what your shoes look like. So anyway, um, so we, we finally got that under control. Getting the pain, the incredible pain that I was under, getting that under control was the very first step in this. After I felt better, that's when I felt like, you know, uh, you know, my chiropractor told me, you know, look, you're not going to get any better until you lose some weight. He just he point blank said that to me. And it's it's hard when you got somebody telling you that, and it, but you know it never really hurt my feelings. I, I really needed somebody to flat out tell me, "Look, you're obese." And he said it in a nice, lot nicer way than that, but this is just a flat out thing. You are obese. Your feet hurt, and they're getting worse because of your weight and because of your inactivity. If you don't do something about it, it's not going to get any better. So. That was part of my motivation. Um, then the other part was I have a family member who has the same foot condition as me and it has affected this family member over the years and to the point where it, you know, tore up the knee and stuff and it, 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 it rendered them into a wheelchair and I just I just couldn't, I just couldn't do it. I, I saw a picture and I just broke my heart because I, I love this person to death and it broke my heart to see them in a wheelchair. I hadn't seen that image before and I thought, you know, this person has the exact same condition as me and at the weight I'm at, I am now, I, I'm going to end up there. By the time, you know, I'm 40, 50 years, well, I'm almost 40 now, but by the time, you know, I'm 50 years old, let's say, I'm going to be in that wheelchair. You know, that's going to be me. And I remember looking at that picture and I just, I just started to cry because I was just like, oh my gosh, that is going to be me. That's going to be me in not that long, you know. And if I don't do something about this, I don't want to, I just, I don't want it. I don't want to end up in a wheelchair, but this is where you're going. And of course, this is about the time, um, you know, Biggest Loser started hitting the screens and stuff. And, and you know, watching these people, it really motivated me. And um, so it was, I, 
you know, honestly, I don't remember what year it was now. I mean, it's about, like, it's about two and a half years ago and um, a little over that. I just decided, you know, I need to do this. I need to do this not for me, but, I mean, not for anybody but me because it's my health. It's, it's me the one's going to end up wheeling around and having somebody push me in a wheelchair. And I don't, I didn't want that. I was tired of hurting. I was tired of the pain. I was just tired of being tired. And I just thought, you know, you're going to hurt. It's, it's, it's not going to always feel so good, but you got to do it. I, I've got to do this. And uh, so I asked for Christmas, I asked for a weight bench. And I know people thought I was crazy and that I would never use it. And I also asked for a personal trainer. You know, and I got my wish. We not only got our weight bench thing, our weight machine, um, we got one of the very best ones, and we also got a personal trainer. And I'll never forget the day that he came over, and I felt like he was looking at us like, oh gosh, I've got my hands full here. Because here, here's my husband who's like really super skinny, and then there's me who's overweight, and we look like Laurel and Hardy. I always tell people that I look, we look like Laurel and Hardy. But, um, and he's like, well, what's your goals? <laughs> and I'm like, well, I think it's pretty obvious. And I said, well, I want to lose weight. He needs to bulk up. And uh, so we started. And, um, you know, we started slow. I did not watch my eating. Um, but I kept to my workouts the very best I could. And, you know, he taught me how to modify things. And as I got stronger to... Um, you know, to, to make them dip more difficult. And so that's what I did for about a year, really. Um, about a year is, is I, all I did was work out. And that really about just getting stronger was about all I could do, was just getting my muscles working. And it's amazing, you know, the difference it made in my back and my, my uh, it's not really my hip, it's my sacrodiliac. <laughs> I call it my hip, it's easier. Um, and, and my feet, and, uh, granted, yeah, my, I was sore. There was days I was so sore. And, um, but it's, it's been worth it. It's been worth it. And it was about a year, maybe close to a year after that, um, you know, watching The Biggest Loser and stuff and watching these people, that I'm like, you know, I'm just going to try this diet. I'm going to just try it. What have I got to lose? And it was like beginning of January, about a year later, I logged in there and um, tried it. And about in, I think it was about April, because we'd gone to Florida, um, I'd lost about 30 pounds. People would say, how much weight have you lost? I'm like, well, only 30 pounds. They're like, only 30 pounds? Are you crazy? And I'm like, I want to lose more. Don't you understand that? But I felt better, and I felt better about myself. And um, you know, I, I I walked taller, and I walked with confidence, and that showed. That showed in me, even though I still had a long way to go. People noticed a difference. I mean, some people who didn't even really notice the way they are like, you just look different. And I'm like, oh, I lost weight, you know. And like I said, it's it's about you just you get this confidence in yourself and you walk around, your head's tall and you feel good about yourself. And um, I've been really lucky to have an awesome support system in my family and my friends. Um, to be honest with you, I moved out here and I just did not have any friends. Um, I I mean I had friends, but not really anybody close. Um, so I kind of was doing this on my own. Um, other than just the support I got from my family. Um, so, okay, well, um, we'll get back into the diet thing later. Um, that's a little bit more about my why. And, uh, you know, it's hard to talk about that because I haven't been um, forthright about the whole reason. Um, just, cause, just because it's real personal, but um, I think it's time to, to bring it out. Anyway, I'm about out of time here. YouTube will cut me off. Um, Next time we talk, I'll talk a little bit more about my diet um, and uh, what I did from there. I will talk to you later. Love you guys. Bye.